Hi there, welcome to Architect Interview Question Series from Knowledge Powerhouse. Our next question is, what is virtual memory in a system? So this looks like a pretty theoretical question, but in reality, whenever you are explaining some concept, you should be confident about these basic concepts. So that whenever you're designing an algorithm or overall system, you should be aware that what kind of virtual memory is there, what kind of problems can happen, what could be the memory footprint of your solution. So let's understand what is virtual memory. In general, memory or random access memory, RAM, which is a limited resource in a system. So we, whenever we buy a computer, laptop, or even when we go in a data center, we have some node, we need to know what is the RAM or memory of the system. And this is like, since it's a hardware component, it's always limited in uh, you know, uh, capacity. Now, virtual memory is a good mechanism by which we can enlarge the memory space of a system beyond the hardware limitations by enlarging the address space virtually. So we can enlarge this virtually instead of creating more hardware. And at times this virtual memory can contain as many as twice the number of addresses available in main memory. So it can be twice the size of the main memory. So that's like, you know, where are different algorithms of implementing virtual memory. And uh, mainly like in the operating system, we get this kind of a feature where they provide virtual memory with higher kind of a, a capacity. So in virtual memory, the concept is pretty simple. We divide the whole of memory into smaller parts that are known as pages and it is done by the operating system and in each page we have a fixed number of addresses which is like memory addresses virtual memory addresses and then each of these pages can be stored on a physical hard disk and whenever a page is needed the operating system will read it from the hard disk and store it in the main memory so main memory is your ram ram is limited but Virtual memory is like, you know, bigger memory and then that can be read from the hard disk to RAM, main memory. So the process of translating virtual memory addresses to main memory is known as mapping. So previous, I mean, like, you know, we told you how we create a page. So, and then when we, somebody accesses our data, then they specify what is a virtual memory address. And then from virtual memory address, we have to find what is the main memory address that is come through mapping. And the process of copying virtual pages from disk to the main memory is known as paging. Like if whenever we are reading from the physical hard drive and copy that data to the main memory, the hard drive, like to the RAM, that is known as paging. So these are the two operations, mapping and paging. So paging is a costly like you know operation because we are actually using the hard drive so the main benefit of virtual memory is that it allows us to run more programs than that are possible by just using main memory if you see like you know, some uh, phone cell phones like they have limited hardware so they have limited memory but using virtual memory you can have more so many apps so many apps keep running because of virtual memory and since virtual memory uses hard drives for some of the operation, it is slower than the memory or RAM operation. So of course, like whatever you do in RAM or the memory, like main memory is very fast, but you are limited by the hardware limitations. And, but in virtual memory, that limitation is not there. So even if your device may be a little slower, but it can continue to operate more applications in this. Another important thing to remember in virtual memory is that it is volatile memory. So if your computer is turned off or if it is shut down unexpectedly, then operating system will lose all the information that is stored in the virtual memory. So in general, memory is also like, you know, volatile, uh, but now we have so like, you know, solid state drives also. But in general, I try to remember virtual memories are used only for data, uh, which is volatile which is generally used in that session or as long as the system is on that way. You cannot rely on this data for a very long period of time. But main point of virtual memory is to enhance the performance of your system. So if you have need to implement some kind of caching, like in if you see many of these uh, photo albums uh, online, when those photo albums, when you are um, like 
doing next next kind of a thing so when you are seeing the current image the next image is loaded in the memory so that when you press the next it is already coming right it doesn't go to the network and fetch it same way in online streaming we because of the virtual memory we what we do is that we do some kind of a buffering so some part of the video is already buffered so that uh, you can get a much better experience while watching those movies without virtual memory your movie experience uh, or like your talk experience will be very bad so that way virtual memory is a very important concept that works behind the scene for our software algorithms all right that's all in this small topic and if you have any questions or comments do let us know we'll be happy to answer that for you thanks for listening and do subscribe to this channel so that we can help you prepare more for your system design interviews